Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a really simple protective style. I am postpartum shedding, and so I'm really just looking for simple styles at the moment, and I want something that's gonna protect my hair, where I could just get up and go, and it would look really chic and simple. So we kind of do like an asymmetrical crown twist. I really like twists just because they're more gentle on my hair. I have very sensitive scalp, so if I pull too tightly, it hurts. Um, so twists are perfect for me. Yeah, this is really cute. I love this. I will definitely be wearing this more often. Super cute. Yeah, so look out for more easy protective styles from me. I'm going to be doing a lot more just because that's my jam at the moment. So anyway, enough talking. Let's just get right on with the video. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Starting out with stretched, detangled hair. Figure out which side you want to part your hair. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Definitely the other side. Okay, so once you pick a side, make a long angled part from the middle of your head down to the side. Now continue the part all the way down the back so you have two equal halves. Clipping one half out the way. I'm gonna clean up my edges a bit from this postpartum shedding disaster. And just applying a bit of my mango butter cream. You can use any styling cream you like. And then gently brushing the hair back. Grab a bit of the gel of your choice. Apply it to your edges and near the side part to hold the hair in place, and then brush the hair back to make it sleek. I also swooped my edges for this look. Of course, it's totally optional. And now let's get on with the twist. First, moisturizing the hair again with a bit of my mango buttercream. And starting from the middle and working my way around, I'm gonna flat twist. Flat twists are really simple. All you do is twist a small section of hair, adding in hair from below with every twist. So as you can see with each twist, I add in a bit more hair. As you add in more hair, the twist will of course get bigger and bigger. So take your time with this, making sure it's nice and neat. When there's no more hair to add, just twist down like normal. When I get to the very end, I just pin the twist up to keep it stretched and to get it out of the way. Now release the other side. I'm gonna smooth my edges and the hair near the part to make it more sleek. Now I'm adding mango butter to help moisturize the hair and we're gonna repeat the same process. Flat twisting from the middle and working my way around. And I just flat twist adding in hair as I go. Twist the hair all the way around to the bottom. And with this twist, we're gonna bring it all the way around the back. I bring it up and tuck it under the other twist, bobby pinning it in place gently. And here's a little tip. When you bobby pin, don't scrape the pin against your scalp. That pulls on your roots and hurts. So instead, just point the pin upwards, securing it into the hair. That'll make it a lot more comfortable and less irritating to your scalp. <laughs> Now I grab the other twist and repeat the same thing, pulling it around the back and up to the front, tucking it into that other twist where it fits best, and then bobby pin the hair in place so it doesn't move. And that's it, a super simple protective style. I did this style at night, so I'm just gonna preserve it by tying on my satin scarf and off to bed. Now the next morning, all I have to do is take off my scarf and go. I was able to wear this style for an entire week before I took it out. And when I took it out, I got a bomb chunky twist out. So I hope you enjoyed this super easy and chic protective style and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.